Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to control the LED bar graph with data of ESP32. The compiler which we are using is the VOCV online compiler. So first you need to write VOCV on the Google and then after you need to click on VOCVonline.com and here you will find nearly every microcontroller of your own choice. So we will click on ESP32. So this is our ESP32. Now we will click on this addition sign and we will go for our LED bar graph. So where it is, we will see now this our LED bar graph. It is nothing but just the combination of LEDs within a proper casing, okay? So now we will attach uh, one end of all the LED, LEDs with that of ground. And Okay, and uh, or we can use different grounds for them. Okay, for every okay, we, we can use different ground. So this is for next one like this, and this is for the third one. And I'm uh, actually copying and pasting control C and control V. Okay. You can manually copy them like this. Okay. Like this copy and oh, I don't think that it is going to work. So press control C and control V for copy for copying the component. Okay. So this is our. So now first uh, LED is connected with that of D23 pin of the ESP32. The second one is with the D22. Okay, and the third one with the D21, fourth one with the D19, fifth one with the D18, and then D5. Sorry, this is not RX2, and next one with the D4, and with the D2 here. Okay, so. And D15 and uh, like this, okay. And now we can connect the rest of the things with that of uh, this ground, okay, like this and this and this, okay. Uh, or, or we can, or we can do one more thing that uh, we can delete the other grounds, okay. If all the things are going to work with the single ground, it is okay, okay. So now we will go and we will connect it like this. Okay, now, now we will make them black because they are representing the, they are representing the ground. So all the wires needs to be black, not necessarily, but uh, here it's good to make them black. Now this is, now we will go towards coding. So first is D23, D22, D21, D19, D18, and then D5, and then D4. Okay, first of all, we need to go to our white setup and here we will write pin mode 22 comma output. This thing will actually create the output. Okay, uh, it will declare or it will uh, like assign the output status to that of pin number D22. Now we will do the do the same for the 21 this 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 and 
D twenty one D nineteen twenty three twenty okay also we also need to declare twenty three as output then D eighteen D eighteen D five D four D two D fifteen D four D two and D fifteen so four D four and D two and D two and D fifteen And here is the right twenty two comma high. Okay, first we write twenty two comma high. Then there is a delay of like uh, one thousand seconds, and then okay, we will copy the copy these two lines. Okay, and paste them out here, 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 and here. D twenty two, D twenty one. Sorry, first you will go for 23, then 22, then 21, and 19, 18, and 5, 19, 18, and 5, and 5, 4, 2, and 15, 4, 2, and 15. Now we run it out and we will see that either it is going to work or uh, it will take a little bit of time. You can see it is written for, for 6 seconds and 7 seconds. So after some time it will run. Okay. now it is going to work for us okay now you can see that it is working for us so hopefully you got the concept that how you can control the led bar graph with that of esp32